I remember reading this in the manga a while ago, and I remember not being the most fond of this material from My Hero Academia. I remember my first read-through or so of this chapter and thinking to myself, No! No! No, Class 1! Go away! No! However, after watching these episodes and growing as a person, I have a couple of things to say regarding that opinion and my opinion as of this episode of My Hero Academia Season 6 and the insanity that's going down with Class 1A trying to drag Deku back. Like, yo, you coming back to this school, fam. You better stop this Batman solo hero stuff. Like, this is nonsense. The black hero gotta stop. Let's talk about it. I must go. Yes, people, when I read a lot of this stuff in the manga back in the days, I gotta be honest with you. The same way how I've been enjoying season six, the second half with, you know, the Lady Nagant and Deku stuff, and just in general, this whole new vibe that the Black Hero arc has introduced with Deku going off on his own, uh, I really enjoyed it in the manga. I'm not even gonna lie. I was very much so invested in it. I thought this is so different from my hero. It's a break away from, you know, all of the hunky dory sports festival. Yeah, we all rocking together type of vibe that my hero had introduced i was like this is a breath of fresh air and i'm really hyped for it let's freaking go oh and quickly make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell before we continue because yeah i bring anime and manga related content and i think you might like it so if you haven't already hit them hit them hit them hit them hit them so much so that when we got to this episode or the parts from this episode in the manga i remember being very upset i remember thinking to myself oh no shorty what are we doing here class 1a go away like i really was not for it simply because i thought this is so different for my hero we went you know how many hundreds of chapters and how many dozens upon dozens of episodes that we go through in my hero academia to get to this point of yo it's class 1a together everybody's together deku's trying to come up with his people so when we got to this part again i was like yo i like seeing this this is so different for deku as well seeing his character development seeing him can he stand on on his own too especially considering this is supposed to be a lesson right this is my hero academia academia the school aspect the lessons that you're supposed to get out of life this was supposed to be a big lesson for Deku to when he gets older and he's you know a full-blown hero how does he stand on his own too where did he get the experience from to be able to do it and I felt like this arc was giving just that so when we get class 1a slowly but surely gearing up to come drag Deku back I was annoyed I was very much so like oh come on Horikoshi you just did so much really epicness of having Deku by himself why are we bringing him back this is going to regress everything however after watching this episode and as just changing as a person from what the year and some change ago that this chapter went down I kind of have a little bit of a different tune because I'm looking at it from a different angle in terms of let's not forget especially with all the buildup of what's been said that Deku is falling apart Deku is covered in blood Deku is feared by people yes Deku the scaredy cat is feared by people because of his presence and what he's going through Deku and this also happened in the manga of course but Deku you know he left all might he's not even looking at all might all might fell in the rain and his lunch went everywhere Deku wouldn't do that so essentially Deku was losing himself in this situation he was losing who he is as a now granted he didn't go straight off the wall of like oh god he's horrible you know he's killing people or anything like that but little by little you were noticing that layers of Deku as the good kind-hearted soul that he is was getting shredded away in this whole goal that he had and kind of the weight of the world literally feeling like it's on his shoulders because yo dog all these pro heroes are dropping the capes you know nobody can really do this they all after one for all at the end of the day I gotta show of this burden on my own so you seeing him fall apart and it's like well you know it always brings me back to this question who rescues the heroes that need rescuing you know what i'm saying who's the heroes to the heroes and with deku kind of being in this situation where you know endeavor and them are kind of even to a certain degree allowing him to go off and do these things because they know that at the end of the day they're coming after deku they're like 
yo, we got to let it rock at the end of the day. And then at the same time, All Might, the one person that probably could have helped him, Deku was so far gone that he's ignoring him. He can't get the advice from All Might. So with Deku being in that situation, who helps him? Who heals the healer, so to speak? And that came from none other than Class 1A. I feel like, to a certain degree, despite me feeling like, oh, God, man, I really love the vibe of Deku being on his own. At the same time, the end result of Deku continuing on, like if Deku went on like this, let's just say a few more arcs of just Deku shouldering all of this terrible situation and being in the streets, being a vigilante hero and saving people, but at the cost of his own mental, is like, what Deku would we get back after this? Like, sure, there's character development, sure, there's growth, but then there's also something that'll scar the character for life and we won't get the same kind-hearted Deku. Deku back like after a certain point of Deku being in the streets he could come across a situation that'll be like it'll be life-changing it'll really mess him up and turn him from the sweet person that everybody loves into something else so the fact that class 1a took it upon themselves to go and rescue Deku I admire that and I think that that was needed desperately because at the end of the day sure it's epic as hell to see Deku standing on his own he's still a kid you know what I'm saying? He's still in the academia portion of his life. He's still in the school. He's still getting the lessons. He needs somebody still to save him. In fact, honestly, everybody needs somebody sometimes. Oh, God, I just kind of sang the song. Like, don't get me wrong. Of course, at the end of the day, you got to be your own hero. But in this situation in particular, it's kind of do or die. And Deku, at the end of the day, needed somebody. But fam, <laughs> at the very least, he ain't go down without a fight because you had all of 1A giving it they're all trying to pin him down like please just come back to the school and he was like yo get away from me dog get away i swear on my mama bro yo it's about to be litty let's go like literally every single member of class 1a tried to hit deku with talk no jutsu and he wasn't having it so right there there at that moment you know that deku has definitely changed a bit not gonna say for the worst if anything it just shows that he's gotten stronger that none of their words really could reach him where he's at right now in terms of gotta save people I, at the same time you could argue oh it's to his detriment because again he's falling apart but it just shows that he's gotten a super strong will where before you know if all might would have blink at him he'd be like oh my yes i'm sorry oh my god I, I, I'm, <laughs> you know what i mean so the fact that it's gotten to this point where it's like no i'm not listening no it shows that deku has gotten a lot stronger he's gotten a lot tougher throughout this whole situation of this ordeal and then it also shows that at the end of the day yo he's a part of 1a and of course you know working as a group is more stronger than just being everybody on their own or whatnot but fam Deku is that dude dog because none of them could really rock with him to stop him dog like they did everything they did combo attacks you got Ida throwing in a good word of like yo come on bro like just come back to 1A like dude come on I don't know why he's a freaking surfer but dude come back to 1A <laughs> Like, they gave it their all and then some. They literally went plus ultra to bring Mans back to the school. And for the most part, throughout most of it, it wasn't working. And again, I was like... Like, yes, I know the outcome, so I'm like, okay, he's gonna go back to the school. But at the same time, I like that Deku has, is showing right here and now that he's grown. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Ida's words of him saying, yo, dog, at the end of the day, you taught me about being a hero, the essence of being a hero. You can see that they're using everything that they know that will help Deku to come to his senses, so to speak, to come back to the school. But I gotta keep on saying, I love his strong will and determination in this one. And then also, you gotta give a little bit of credit to, and maybe even a little more than just a little bit, but to Bakugo, when Bakugo confronts Deku throughout this whole ordeal and apologizes for being a bully and says, yo, dog, <laughs> I, I screwed up, you know what I'm saying? And gives Deku something that probably Deku's wanted to hear for a long time. Like when you're being bullied like that, when people are treating you a certain way, despite the fact that you got nothing but love for them, it is going to hurt. And even though like they've been rocking and there's been some camaraderie and there's been some signs of like, yo, dog, you dope. It's OK. It's cool. It still it, it really hurt Deku at the end of the day. It broke him apart that somebody, especially when they were younger, Deku really looked up to Bakugo. He was a damn hero to him for crying out loud. You know what I'm saying? Even though they were a similar age or whatnot, he still looked up to him. So so the fact that Bakugo did all of those things, now granted, Bakugo was, you know, a little bit savage back in those times or whatnot. Nevertheless, it was a great thing. And I think, of course, that's really what resonated with Deku the most, that 
Okay, if even he's coming through and being like, yo, my bad, my fault, come through, dog. Like, let me just relax. Uh, Alright, okay, alright, guys, I'm on my way home. <laughs> I don't even know, like, wow. And that ultimately is what leads to Deku saying bet and passing out and then waking up to an angry mob. Which was another thing that I was kind of like, not necessarily critical of the manga, but looking from the audience's perspective, which was another thing that if I'm just keeping it real, I was a little bit critical of in terms of, or not necessarily necessarily the manga but I was kind of agreeing to a portion with the audience or the people that was in you know the UA building because you know that's a fortified building now that's basically made to protect the citizens and all of that good stuff and they all like yo we know now you know what I'm saying you want to bring the the bomb that they're after into the building like what are you doing here fam and again when I read the manga and even now to a certain degree I'm still a little bit like I understand their frustration and I understand what they're feeling like. So I can't completely disagree with them. But at the same time, dog, what else are we going to do? No matter what, all for one is going to keep on until he gets what he wants. He's going to keep on attacking in any which fashion. I mean, for crying out loud, look at the slime ball stuff he did where he was going to blow Lady Nagant up and shit like that. So the fact that they are pretty much worried, you know, they're skeptical of the situation. I understand them. But then at the same time, it's like if something happens to this kid anywhere else, y'all still going to fall victim to all for one so one thing or another you know what i'm saying we gotta figure this whole situation out but i keep it real with you i did feel a little bit bad for deku like he just went through a living hell you know what i'm saying he just went through i don't know how long it was that he was on this solo hero quest or whatever but he just went through a lot that was breaking him down only to get back home for then them to be like we don't really want you here fam can you go like yo and it's not one a it's the other people that are in the building and it's like it's a very messy situation because you could throw the argument that each one of them have some validity to their claims of like well yo keep that cool here at the end of the day they're looking for him anyway and if anything happens he falls we all fall then on the other side of things yeah but you're bringing the bomb here and that's the person that shigaraki and them are after like what are you doing so it's a sticky situation but either way when otaku shows up and whatnot at the end to deku i was like okay all right let's see where we go with this and overall my opinions in comparison to when i read the manga to where i'm at with it right now in the anime is that absolutely class 1a i feel did the right thing getting deku back especially is like how much longer could he have lasted out in those streets like Deku he's in his academic portion of his life putting him out in the streets or him taking himself to the streets and being a solo hero for that long and it's like yo he looked up to All Might right he always looked up to All Might but in the streets he turned into Batman and it's like that wasn't Deku Deku was not that like Deku was the the light that shines Deku isn't somebody that is you know in the darkness fighting crime he's not in Gotham he's in Metropolis that's the type of character Deku is so I definitely feel like class 1a saved Deku from himself to a certain degree in that situation and I gotta commend them for that although the whole situation as it stands right now is a little messy but either way again my hero academia is just whipping tail and I've been loving this season so much it's like I know a lot of people have some issues with the war part but the black hero arc on has just been fire 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 all of 1a trying to stop Deku showcasing that Deku's on a different level you can't mess with him and just in general it's just it's been very epic to say the least and i really love this episode and i kind of hope that you did too but let me know what you guys thought of the episode how did you feel about deku versus class 1a how did you feel about everybody and everything that they said but really it was only bakugo saying yo my bad dog for bullying you i know I, it was a little much my fault g but at least you grew from it you know what i'm saying i was like Ooh. And your overall thoughts and expectations for the remaining episodes of this season. Once again, I gotta say, My Hero Academia Season 6. Mwah. Studio Bones, thank you. Now that Mob Psycho 100 ended, y'all were like, let's put some real talent on this anime again. Like, get it whipping, get it awesome again. Yeah! Because this episode was pretty fire. But that's all I have for this one. I'm from the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Subscribe and hit that bell to get more. Yeah! Lights be flashing and looking at me. Such an odd, unique, yet I'm so unique. And you're looking at me. If the wolves could talk, they would probably be weak And I'd probably say, bitch, get the fuck off me